What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan and in this video we're going to do another charting analysis but an update this time because last week I did a video where I analyzed three stocks that my Instagram followers wanted me to kind of analyze and give them my opinion on and in that video this AMC right here, let me put on the right screen for you guys, this AMC was one of them that I analyzed and I basically I gave my thoughts on it but I said I wanted to reassess it next week and give an update. So that's basically what this is. And in that video last week, for those of you that don't want to go watch it, you should definitely go watch it though, just to kind of be updated fully on what's going on. But just a quick 30 second update for those of you that don't want to go watch it. What I said last week on Thursday was that, you know, I'm seeing it going downward potentially. However, I see it just pinning this 40 area for the rest of the week. And I said, I wanted to see what happens next week, which is now currently. And that I expected, you know, I wanted to see it break the 40 area to give a little bit more of a dip for me to add into my position. But I also, I guess, you know, gave the perspective that it had the chance of holding above the 40 area. I expected it to pin it for the end of the week. So I wanted to see what the new week did with that 40. Based on that is what I wanted to kind of give my new assessment on. So now that we've seen what it did with the 40, which is basically it broke below the 40 and really couldn't get back above it there on Monday. It's basically exactly what I was thinking would happen to the downside. Now, if you remember from that video, I said that I'm hoping for it to go to the 3250 area. However, I'm gonna change that to the 30 area. That's what I'm kind of looking out for as my main add-in point. Now, if I see that we don't get all the way to the 30, maybe we just get the 3250, I start seeing some signs of reversal. I might kind of revert it back to that. So I guess this is saying we might have another update video on this particular stock, but just to give you guys like a little bit of a roadmap moving forward until that next update, I basically see it, if you can see it kind of had like a descending kind of a triangle here if you wanna get real technical with him here. Um, but the idea was if he broke that 40, he's gonna be going down. So that's not saying it's the end of the world. Keep in mind, he's still looking good in terms of, if I wanna even extend this guy, well, how do you extend him? There we go, to the right. You know, he's still, we're in an uptrend. You know, I'm not trying to say that it's the end of the AMC hype here by, you know, there's no means that I'm saying that at all. I'm just saying we're cooling down. And the reason why I also want to kind of drop it to the 30 is because of the fact that the market is weak as well. So that's probably going to give some more pressure to the downside. So that's why I kind of wanted to make that little bit of an, of an adjustment. But either way, my point being was I still see it going down. The, the idea of it giving a little bit more of a dip has confirmed. So... I'm going to be watching it for the 30 area to see if I can add in there and just kind of give like a more of a short term roadmap. That's really what we're going to, I, I see us stopping at the next level 35 from there, you know, maybe shake and bake, kind of consolidate, and then it'll drop it lower to the 3250. And that's where we'll reassess it and analyze it and see, okay, any, you know, has the market, how's the market looking? Any order flow coming in? How's the, you know, chart looking? Does it still look like it can give some more room to the downside? Um, and we'll go from there. Now to wrap it up in terms of order flow, there really isn't anything crazy happening on the order flow side of things here today necessarily. If we look at, you know, I know I always say take this stuff with a grain of salt, but if we look at today's, there's nothing really, you know, what's the word, directional that's going on here. You know, of course we had more calls traded than puts, but if we look at this, we have more calls sold then there were puts sold in terms of percentage wise. So again, just take it with a grain of salt. But my point being is there's nothing crazy or dramatically happening in either direction saying that it's time to start going back up or even to say that it's time to start, you know, completely dying out and flushing down. It's just normal, you know, market behavior, I guess, if you will, that we're seeing here, especially tied in with the market giving, a, giving us a little bit more uh, pressure there to the downside. So one thing that I did notice on the order flow was today, I believe it was, um, these were all bought, if I'm not mistaken, all on the ask side. So this basically means somebody for March 18th of 2022 thinks that it can go down to 24 or they bought the puts saying that, you know, they think it's going to go down. Now, again, take it with a grain of salt because this could very well be just a hedge on their position. Maybe they bought a bunch of shares today and this is just to protect them in case it goes down. So I'm not saying just because someone did that, you know, the world is going to end here for AMC. I'm just trying to point out what I see, but again, nothing crazy in any direction. You know, there's just a little bit here, a little bit there. So it just looks like it's going to keep kind of floating in the way that it was and we'll reassess it, reanalyze it from there and see where we get. Um, but again, I just want to reiterate guys, I'm in it. This isn't investment advice. I'm not saying this because I want it to go up. I'm not saying because I want you to get in it. I'm just re-updating from that other video. Um, what other disclaimers do I need to give? You know, just saying, okay, I have a position in it. 
Um, and that, that's pretty much that, guys. You know, at the end of the day, like I say, just, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet waving my hands around. You know, I enjoy doing this stuff for you guys, giving you my perspective of it. But, you know, that's pretty much that. So if you do have any other questions, opinions, charts, or anything like that you want me to analyze, let me know in the comments or, you know, yeah, just comment. But like, subscribe, you know, the usual deal. And that's pretty much it. We'll wrap it up here, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Just have a great day, a great night, and just have a great rest of your life.